Hey, this is Surfline forecaster Kevin Wallace with your mid-August El Nino update. As many of you already know, we are currently in an El Nino state with, amongst other things, anomalously warm water temps throughout the equatorial eastern and central Pacific. In fact, water temps in July 2015 were similar to what we saw in 1997, the strongest El Nino on record. While there are no guarantees that this year's El Nino will equal the 97 Super El Nino, current conditions are indicative of a significant and strengthening El Nino event. The latest forecast from NOAA's Climate Prediction Center is for a greater than 90% chance that El Nino will continue through the Northern Hemisphere winter of 2015 and 2016. Furthermore, the vast majority of forecast models indicate that a strong El Nino will continue and peak sometime in the late fall or early winter. The big question is, what does El Nino mean for SURF? Starting along the U.S. East Coast, we typically see suppressed tropical activity in the Atlantic and the chances of seeing significant swell from a tropical storm or hurricane diminish. Again, that's not a guarantee that tropical cyclones won't form, but the odds of one developing are less than in an average year, and so far this year that has certainly been the case. As we move into the winter, enhanced storm activity in the Gulf of Mexico can lead to stronger and more frequent wind swell events in that region, the southeast U.S., and even beyond sometimes. Moving across to the Pacific, we see more intense and frequent tropical cyclone activity in the East Pacific. Again, that's not a guarantee that we'll see swell, but it does increase our odds. Furthermore, we're moving into the climatological peak season of late August through mid-September, and longer range guidance suggests a more active second half of August, so we'll certainly want to keep an eye out for developing tropical systems in the next few weeks. Heading into the fall and winter months, we usually see stronger storms further south in latitude than in an average season. This will lead to more westerly swells for California and beyond. However, there are variables present that introduce some uncertainty to this general long-range forecast, in particular the large pool of warm water that has been off the Pacific Northwest Coast over the U.S. over the past couple of years. Please see our August El Nino article at surfline.com for more details on that. Moving over to the islands, we typically see lighter trades and more frequent Kona wind events for Hawaii during El Nino years, as well as enhanced swell size and consistency. One other important thing to remember is that no two El Ninos are the same, and we still need to predict storms and weather on a daily basis, as we always do. So be sure to check the Surfline Premium Forecast through this unique late summer, fall, and winter season. The next Surfline El Nino update will be around mid-September. We'll see you then.